Well, hello folks, welcome to episode number 29 of this Tennis Manager 2021 save. I am the Custard Prophet, welcome back to the Custard Tennis Academy. It's the year is 2023. Yes, we have moved into the new year. We are going to be coming back for the Australian Open. Um, but first of all, I want to take you through a few changes that have been occurring in the Academy. A change number one is in relation to the infrastructure. So let's jump into the infra infrastructure page. Oh no, let's first of all, before we do that, look at our new objective. So we've our sports objectives to keep the current players um, a maximum one accepted departure out of the players that we have. Uh, and we can re and we need to reach level two for the medical center. Uh, for financial objectives, again, we need to start end with a budget over zero at the end of the season. As you can see, we're not that far away from that. Uh, we'd also need to increase the reputation of the academy. Now, when I was looking into the reputation stuff in relation to the, the academy, it looks like it is all related to infrastructure. So the only way we can get this up is by increasing that infrastructure so that's exactly what we've done um so from from last time out we were upgrading the sports center and you can see here we now have up to a level two in a month's time we'll have a level three sports center which is going to un unlock more staff spots but we have just also upgraded the business center uh, so this is going to give us 20 grand, I think, per month. I think that's, I, I mean, admittedly we're paying 2,700 for that. No, no, that's a lot more than that, <laughs> 270,000. Um, but I, I think it's worth it. So that's what we're, that's what we're doing. And here we are also uh, also upgrading the medical center because that was requested and that was just uh, 1500 for pete's sake that that was just uh, uh that was just 150,000 pounds i've forgotten how numbers work apparently <laughs> so big big changes to the infrastructure um most of these are a little bit away three months for the medical center five months for the business center but i think both of them are going to make big differences to the way we operate and the sports center will be very very soon we've still got harry and and uh, i was going to say jay harry and jack at the, at the um academy it looked like harry was going to leave uh he, he rejected a contract even though he was contracted until the end of the season so i don't know what that was all about but he's still here and he started the season off quite well let's just go and have a quick look at that hmm, interesting i can't actually go back one which is annoying uh but so we'll have to we'll have to go that's interesting i can't it's strange that you can't go back one but he did get a title here in the uh in the hong kong open which is a which is an mtl 20 tournament which is so that's a that's impressive and he did win the the last tournament of the year as well so he's coming off two wins on the trot which is pretty awesome so that's pretty pleasing for him and so he is improving um as he goes i think we, we should be able to see where he is currently 360 seconds so he's already way up on where he was at the start the uh the, where we left him last season so that's pretty awesome jack has been training hard and hopefully you'll be able to see the evidence of that um certainly an increase in serve power there's also some other increases i think in backhand uh backhand power accuracy i can't remember which so there's a bunch of things that have been improving um so i think we might work on serve accuracy coming up thinking about that um and uh, so that's that's really really good we've not uh, we've not altered the staff uh, at the minute the main changes have been in the academy facilities we're currently 45th in the world and we are at the uh, australian open now we're not expecting to win this absolutely that'd be a mad bad idea but what we have done is played the first round match and we did get through that we uh jay clark um yeah, Jay, Jay Clark has did get a wild card entry to this, but he lost in the first round. So we are going to be playing Ugo Humber in this uh, round of 64 match. 
we'll have a look at him in a second but we've just beaten 142nd in the world Roberto Carbea Bena uh, 627562 pretty comfortable going that was so it was good to see so uh, let's see now how we get on here against Hugo Humba I like that name Harry's just been out of, uh, for an injury for about a week, so uh, that's where he's been after his last uh, last tournament. So uh, he's just come back from that, so thankfully no big issues there. So as always, what we'll do is we'll play this match. If we get through this, then we will basically play through, and I'll let you know how things went uh, in the Australian Open. Uh, if we get ridiculously far, which I know it's very unlikely, uh, I'll probably come back and look to uh, play another game. So, tough match, uh, high return intensity, and he may have a chance to break him, so he's, he's, a, he's a big server then. Yeah, again, the defensive game plan, they want me to play that. I'm, I haven't sorted that out yet. Uh, let's have a look at him. Okay, physically, he is very, very good. He's, he's got a strong serve power, um, as you can see. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Oh, you're gonna have to give it all in this match. I believe in your chances. No, he doesn't care. Oh, I thought I thought it was breaking through and understanding what what to say, but um, no, no one ever does that. So the, I think there is there is a hope here. It could all go wrong. Um, I think the power is serve is going to be a problem. So we're going to stand a little bit further back, both on the serve and the returns, and just hope that that will be enough to, you know, counter that a little bit. Right, here we go. So we're going to start off. Um, return. First serve return, we're going to stand a little bit further back. I do like this setup. I think this is a really easy to to sort out thing. Uh, There's a lot of nice switches and toggles and stuff. I have to say, having kind of reflected on my um, TM2 versus uh, Tennis Manager 2021, I, I like this. Um, th all the options that you have. It's just a little bit on the complex side. Right. Do I go back? Is that normal or is that? far why don't you tell me <laughs> i don't know uh let's go back there right close right he's gonna he's gonna come at us hard and we are going to we're going to be there to deliver well we have a chance to break him early doors oh, straight into the bloody net Oh God, <laughs> he's died. <laughs> oh my God, the way he went down. <laughs> Shot from the crowd. And look at him celebrating the cock. Oh my God. Right, well, that's a bit of a bloody disaster, isn't it? We're going to have to see how what's happened. Serious injury. Jesus. So he was injured during a match. The injury seems to be serious. He has dislocated his groin. We will set up the re rehabilitation until full recover. Re he should recover between 34 and 30 days. 24 and 30 days. We'll unregister him for all tournaments. Uh, we will do that. Yes, yes, don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, okay. So, uh, not, not ideal. Not ideal, but we will get some money from that. Uh, we'll just move on. I've got a press conference. Oh, <laughs> Surely you have a question about the injury, don't you? I don't really know what to say. You utter cock. It, what, I, he got injured. Why, why is there no questions about this? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. How, how do you answer any of these questions? 
Oh, really? He looks exhausted, did he? Do you think that's why you lost in time? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just going to leave. I'm going to bloody leave. I can't answer these bloody questions. Oh, my God. Right. Tennis manager, 2021. People who are involved in the game, you have to do something about the interviews, about the um, all of the communication between people because it's weird. It's really, really weird. That That is a perfect example about how weird it is. But the conversations with the players just before games, none of it makes any sense. It's It's one of the things that really lets this game down. Okay, thank you. Right then, well, I guess we'll finish there. If you've enjoyed the episode, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you the next time when hopefully Jack has uh, recovered from his injury and um, is back on the court. See you there. Goodbye. <laughs>